Please, YouTube, we making uh, baby turkey wings to, today. Um, I'm your chef, and today that's what we're gonna be making, baby turkey legs. Here they go in the bag. Uh, this is everything that we're gonna be using. Uh, we got a gravy master, some parsley, adobo, garlic, uh, yellow pepper, red pepper, onions, cilantro, and scallions. Um, I'm going to be using this to bake it in, this uh, foil pan. Because it's just when you get finished cooking with it, you could toss it right out. So let's get to it. Uh, scissors. I'm going to snip this. And I'm going to clean them. And when I clean them, I'm going to toss them straight in the pan. So let's put the pan right here. And so I can make sure I kill all the germs. I'm going to use me some antibacterial soap and wash my hands. Triple action Ajax. And then we do the 20 second. Send your ABCs or whatever. Just make sure I get in there. Clean my hands really good so we don't have cross contamination. When I was in medical school, Yes, I went to medical school and uh, we learned how to clean our hands. Actually, I went to be a medical office assistant where we had to learn all these techniques. I learned EKG, phlebotomy, uh, ECG. I learned how to ICD-9 code. I learned how to triage, set up paperwork and whatnot, make and cancel appointments. I can even do billing. Of course, that's what ICD-9 coding is, is medical billing. But that wasn't my forte. My forte was uh, mechanics. I wanted to be a, a mechanic, not for anybody, but for myself. Um, I wanted to learn how things work. Uh, the movie Fast and Furious, the very first one was like one of my favorite movies. And it made me uh, wanna know how things work. I mean, I always had that, wanting to know how it worked ever since I was a little, little kid. Uh, my parents, they have a story where I, this, this sound on the TV didn't work and I took a screwdriver and put it to the TV and I tried to make it work and I blew the speaker out. I, I had to be about five, four or five years old when I did that. That's when the TV had two knobs. It had a knob at the top for turning and it, it had a channel U. So if you don't know what a TV is that had a channel U on it, you don't know what I'm talking about. It had two tones on it. It had a black and white tone and it had a, a color tone. And this is how I clean the sink out. It had a black and white tone and a color tone. It had a channel U and then it had the other uh, no, the other no. It didn't have a remote, this TV. I remember it, I mean, I could draw it. But these kids nowadays don't know what a channel U is, so they don't know what I'm talking about. So the same rules apply for the sink, as far as like the 20 second. I know I got the water on. Just turn it down a little bit, so I just wanted to get this triple action soap in here to do some disinfectant even in the drain part because we drop stuff in here bowls and, and spoons even though we wash it we just you know just kill some of these germs 
I'm so sick and tired of this coronavirus. I'm sick and tired of the virus. I'm sick and tired of all of it, man. I don't know if that was 20 seconds, but that was good enough for me. And stuff like that. And I just rinse the sink down. Whatever was there, not there anymore. I'll clean these later. Then we got the cloth, and then we uh, rinse it off, wipe it off, and we have the sink, one piece, just so it's smooth as it can over. Yeah, I got the sniffles, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have the virus, I just got the sniffles. Yeah, I just got the sniffles, I don't have the virus or anything. I don't know why I have the sniffles. You know, it just maybe it's cold because it's cold outside. Anyway, back to the food. So this is the food, the uh, meat, the baby turkey legs, turkey wings. It's the drum and the flat piece, and uh, I'm just gonna put all the uh, dressings on it and our vegetables. So the vegetables are gonna go in it directly in it so so I'm gonna slice this up these could be pretty long feels weird in my right hand but I'm trying to teach myself how to cut righty so yeah that's that's pretty much how it is and then you just once across the side and there you go and then that goes over And the same with the red pepper. Just it, it, it don't have to be all perfect. There's no metric uh, standard way on how to cut it. You're just cutting it up so we can break it up in the pot. Hold on a minute. Which part would you prefer? This one? Hold on. Nice. Which one you prefer? This one? Is this one? It looks like a um mud thing. That's a and Audi. then oh. And then got this one. Yeah, the Audi 5 is nice. You want the Audi 5? Yeah, the Audi 5. That's the RS5. Yeah, RS5. That's the RS5. Which um color? What color? You think it's mom's coffee cup? I'm gonna make it. Oh. And we can have the other. Uh, I'm not gonna give it all to you. You can have some for later. Later? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that tastes sweet. Orange right. soda, orange juice. What's the difference, right? So yeah, the onions, like there's no specs for the onions either. You just, you cut them any way you want. Some people like it all diced. I don't, I don't like to dice it. And the reason why I don't like to dice it is because sometimes I don't want to taste onions, especially the yellow onions. I really don't like yellow onions because they are not sweet. You know, they're kind of bitter, but I like that it draws out the flavor. Which is why I'm going to use the stallion, stallion, scallions, because I like how the scallions taste. I really don't like how the onions taste. I'm not going to use a powder because I don't want to use the onion powder. I want the the, the whole vegetable. You know, and we 
just drop it in there. It doesn't matter how it gets in there, so long as it gets in there. I mean, oh, I wasn't supposed to touch it again. Whatever. Yeah, we'll just put some under there. Just put it under, up under it, under the meat. So it be all in. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands again. I wasn't supposed to touch it again. But uh, you can dress it any way you want to, but this is just me showing you that I could get busy in the kitchen. I mean, when I feel like it. Most of the time, the missus take over the cooking, and that's because um, I be out, you know, getting my hustle on. And before uh, I was injured, you know, I was home, so I was doing most of the cooking and cleaning and taking care of everything. The message is injured, so if you can't lift nothing, you can't really move nothing. So, you know, we, we a team. If she don't feel like it, that's when I do it. And she just didn't feel like it. So because she didn't feel like it, I jumped in and I did it. And this is um, scallions and cilantro. And we just cut them up accordingly. Like, as I said, there is no... There is no right or wrong way to do it. Yeah, I'm folding my fingers back too so I don't get another accident. I had a bad accident before in the kitchen. <laughs> and that was because I was angry. I was cooking and I was angry. And um, I uh, sliced my finger. I sliced my thumb to the bone, almost cut it off, because I was angry, and I did one of these, ah. slice, slice right into the bone, and it didn't even hurt, like, it didn't hurt, I just wrapped it up, and I thought I was going to be alright, then I tried to go to bed, and uh, Sandy was like, Brian, you got to get some stitches. And I was like, no, I'm not getting no stitches. Just shut up and, and leave me alone. And she was like, all right, at least you can wrap it up. So I, I wrapped it up. And um, yeah, these garlics, I'm going to just mash them and dash them. Like, I'm going to just mash it and dash it. So, so yeah, I, she was like, you, you got to go to the hospital. And I was like, no, I'm not going to no hospital because they're going to put me in an emergency room. They're going to make me take a seat. I'm going to fill out paperwork and they just going to tell me to go home and give me some Motrin. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. But instead of just sending me home, they, um, they cleaned me up. They clean me up. I don't know how many garlics I put in there. Like I said, it's flying all over the place. It doesn't matter how many you put in it. Like, I mean, we like the garlic, so I just mash and dash my salt. And whatever's left over, just put the knife straight in there. So yeah, she was like, you're gonna need stitches. And I was like, no, I don't need stitches. So I try to get in the bed and go to sleep. And I kept feeling an itching sensation. It kept itching. My thumb kept itching. Yeah, I, I sliced it. I sliced it right here. I, it looked like a happy smile, but it healed so good. They stitched it so well, you could barely see it. But it looked like a happy smile when I cut it. And um, she was like, you got to go to the hospital. And I was like, no, I'm not going. And while I was laying in the bed, I was trying to get comfortable, but I kept, just kept feeling like it was itching. See, we're going to put in some of these. Uh, Sassoon. I just kept feeling the itch, and, and um, yeah, that's it. It was just itching like crazy, and I was like, "Yeah, you keep on itching." A little, a little bit of this. It's less than a quarter of this uh, barn, billion barnyard cube or whatever. It's in the pack, whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit, just to to make it all flavorful. So. So she, she said, you got to go to the hospital. And I was like, I ain't going to no hospital. Shut up. Leave me alone. And I got in the bed and I was leaking 
or I messed up the bed, we had to throw out a um in half, like a half of the size, like one and a half. So I had to we had to throw out and while I'm cooking I'm cleaning up as well, so you know, so um we had to throw out um, bed covers because I, I um, bled in the bed cover. And it wasn't a little bit, it was a lot. It was like a lot, a lot of blood. And I was like, man, man, I gotta go to the doctor. She was like, you want me to go with you? I was like, no, I don't want you to go with me because you're gonna be nagging me the whole time. And uh, I put in some parsley flakes. Uh, I'm gonna put in a round of pepper. Just I'm gonna just go around. You know, just a little circle, and then put it away as I go along. And yeah, so she 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 said I had to go. I, I said you couldn't go with me because you're gonna get on my nerves. And I left out of here mad. <laughs> I left out of here mad. I went to the hospital mad. Uh, I sat in the waiting area mad. You gotta add a little bit of adobo. I sat in the waiting area mad. Um, and when they got to me, the guy was like, what, ha what happened? And I was like, yeah, I sliced myself. He was like, how did you do that? Well, I was in the kitchen and I was cutting chicken breasts and I was upset about something that happened earlier. And he was like, Mmm, no, no need to say any more, anything more. Uh, let me see. And he took a look and he was like, wow, that's deep. You, I'm, you glad you came here? And I was like, why is that? He was like, because you're really going to need stitches. And I was like, oh boy, does it hurt? He was like, yeah, it hurt, but we're going to numb you up and stuff. So don't worry about it. So the first thing they did was they cleaned me. They took my hand, they ran it under some water. And while they took my hand and ran it under some water, they opened up like this little pack. And it had a little scrub brush in it, but it, it was covered with some iodine or whatever. And he put my thumb under the water and he was scrubbing the hell out of it. I wanted to hit him, but it, it was like he was helping me, but he was hurting me at the same time. And then right after that, they came with some anesthesia. It was really, really thin needles. It was about three of them. He gave me one, two, three. He gave me one on the top, one on the bottom, and one right in the middle of it. And after he gave me the one with the middle in it, uh, he was like, now we gotta let it sit for a minute. We gotta let it do what it do. So while he did that, he was letting it uh, up appear in uh, the little the little curved needle. It was a teeny, teeny little, little curved needle about this big. He had to get some pliers. He clipped the pliers to the little needle and he threaded it up and then they put it in and then they gave me like a X stitch. So I had like a, for a little while and I'm gonna use Gravy Master. Gravy Master. And before I put that in, I'm gonna just finish the story. So for a little while, I, uh, I had a phobia of coming in the kitchen and cooking because I cut myself out of anger. And um, I was mad over something dumb and I shouldn't have been. And I let my attitude carry, get carried away with me. And uh, that's what happened. I cut myself. So this is what it looks like. It looks a, a mess, but the colors are greens and reds and orange. That's what she looks like. And it's gonna be black in a minute, so. But, yeah. So, here's the Gravy Master, and it goes directly over. Directly over it. Now, thanks to Aunt Lisa, this is her recipe. So, with this Gravy Master bottle, with this bottle, I'm gonna fill it up with water and put this water in there. This is her recipe and this is like something I learned from her. I can make a killer macaroni and cheese and I learned that from my mom. Everybody in the family has their own signature dish, you know, and we could bring all of our signature dish, dishes together. That'll be dope one day. Uh, so 
Usually we're supposed to fill it up, but I'm gonna just fill it up about halfway because um, when this stuff reduces, all the all the seasonings and the flavors that I put in there is gonna be marvelous. And by the time this gets finished, it's gonna fall off the bone. And of course, it's gonna uh, marry and everything. So with, at this point, after we done put gravy master, so I put like two, two and a half full bottles of water along with one full bottle of gravy master in this pot along with the uh, turkey leg, the baby turkey. I use sassoon, I use a little chicken barnyard, a billion cubes, or however you say it. I use uh, red pepper and yellow pepper. I would use red and green, but I don't have any green, I think. Oh, oh we got green, so, yep, see, we got green, so I'm gonna throw some green in there. I don't know, the peppers just give it its level of sweetness, I guess. I don't know, I just like the flavor of it when you put it on your rice. So we're not gonna put a whole one, we're just gonna put like a, a half, a half of it. And we have in the refrigerator, there's a, a switch that you hit that'll allow us to uh, put the vegetables in there after we cut it and then it'll stay in the refrigerator for as long as a week a week maybe two weeks before it goes bad it stays crunchy just like this so this refrigerator that we got is really dope it was a really good buy so yeah the same like the other one i cut it like that and cut it in threes and then that so I put green peppers in it now. So now it has its greens and yellows and reds. Okay, guys, so uh, your new car is a gold. So yeah, um, and just kind of like work it in. Let's bring it over here so you can see, because after I work it in, we're going to own. Yeah, so like I said, the, the, the GoPro died, so we had to switch uh, cameras. So, um, yeah, I went to the doctor, and they, they, they cleaned me up. They, they cleaned me up. They gave me, um, they had to stitch me inside first, and then stitch me on the outside. So they, it was that deep. So it was, uh, like... 13 so it was like five in the inside those were dissolvable and then they had to close it up with seven little stitches so that was that and I, for a while i didn't want to go in the kitchen and cook because i was scared that i was gonna slice myself and where's the knife at that sliced me this knife this knife this knife ain't no joke we had this knife for a few uh 15 years <laughs> We had this knife for 15 years, and it is sharp as hell. We peel. We used to peel potatoes with it. So you know when you peel potato, you peel like that, right? But it's so sharp down here that we had to stop doing that because I kept on slicing into my finger as it went along. So we went and got some of these. So now this with this, we just, you know, peel down. But this knife, this was the knife that gave me the drama. It looks like it's not sharp, but it is sharp as hell. It's razor blade sharp, especially down in this area. Like this portion of the knife is really, really sharp. Not so much up of here, but it'll poke, it can stick, it'll penetrate. But this part right here, just this section is really, really sharp. So. That's, the, That's the knife that um, cut me. So now we got our, if you can see, we got our greens, red, oranges, yellows. Uh, uh, massage the, the sauce into the meat. It's got enough water. I mean, it's pretty much what it is. 
turkey legs going in the oven. Now the oven was preheated to 350 375 and it's going to sit in there for a long time um i like to let it sit for hours maybe like two hours that's why we're cooking it so early in the day the time is now um 12 34 so by two o'clock 2 30 2 34 something like that maybe three o'clock it should be time to pull this out and all of the sauce will be done uh, reduced and because the vegetables and all the other seasonings are sitting in it it dances around um, it's gonna be great um, white rice goes with this or brown rice goes with it no other vegetables are needed unless you're just a vegetable person I mean, if you want, you could put some corn, some whole corn on the side. I may just do that for the kids because they like whole corn. Um, I'm going to seal this. Seal it up really good so that it could catch its own water and uh, it won't all evaporate out of here. And when I go to check it and turn it, because you have to turn the meat, so like an hour, two hours into it, I go inside with a fork and I just turn it so that so you know it could soak in all the, the juices evenly. And our stove was looking crazy. I mean, I know this off topic, but our stove was looking crazy. We did everything to clean it. We didn't get a heavy duty degreaser, but I just took some foil and, and covered over the, the eyes on the stove. We have four burners, so I, I covered up the four burners with some uh, foil to save face so we don't have to clean up so much. We just take the foil off and uh, do it like that. Um, this recipe is really good. It's it's restaurant quality recipe. So um, it's for people that really you don't have the money to go out to a restaurant. You can really treat yourself when you cook with this type of ingredients and these type of stuff. So and we make the cleanup easy because we use Reynolds wrap. We use the 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 Reynolds wrap and we use foil pan. So as long as it you keep a uh, you don't stab the bottom of the the uh, pan it won't leak so into the oven it goes at like 375 350 and the center of the stove so there you go in you go for about two or three hours it's just gonna sit in there and just marinate and cook and it's gonna be phenomenal when it gets finished and we're gonna put this in there see they were eating this when they had their fish and uh, seafood and when they had this fish and seafood I had to get out of here because the smell triggers it, triggers my allergies it's funny but I get the swell and my throat starts to swell up I don't want no epidural shot so I got to get out the way we're going to put this bad boy in the pot throw some butter on it a little bit of salt in the pot like I'm gonna season up the water like I'm gonna season up the water and uh, that's all we get like how, how is this upside down oh. I don't know how to use this camera y'all she got this brand new camera the other camera hit the floor while they were playing games a few weeks ago and she went out and got the, they took it back if she had insurance and it got a replacement. So this camera is brand new. I didn't know how to use the other one and I still don't know how to use this one. Like I could repair, I could repair an Audi. An Audi A5, an Audi A4, A6, A7 and it's electronics too. But working this camera is like working a microwave. Like nobody know how to set the time in the microwave. Well, I guess it's lazy. I really don't care. Uh, 
use that's our boiling pot. We're gonna use this one. And put a few pieces of corn in here and then just water it up. Season the water. And then put that on the side with the food and that's that. And this is her Mickey Mouse pot. And a quick story about this pot, this this crock pot right here. I know she did a review on it, but the one that I bought that she unboxed on Christmas, this is a completely different pot. So we had to send it back to Walmart, I mean to um, Amazon, because the pot that she did have, it, it didn't have this little rubber piece on it. And this little rubber piece is so important because it holds the steam in the pot and holds the pressure in. And what happens is when there's no pressure, it goes down. And when there's a lot of pressure, it goes up and it allows the pressure to escape through here or some crap. That's what it explained on the video. But, you know, we had to send it back. It's pretty much the same thing, the same pot. The same ounces, the uh, uh, metric measurement system or whatever. A uh, standard measurement system, not metric, standard. Yeah, that's a standard measurement system. Not metric, because if it was metric, it would have been like milliliters. It would like six milliliters or four milliliters. You know, it's a whole numbers instead of half numbers. Only America use half numbers. Because America just want to be different. And uh, this pot is really cool because it makes noise. Like it, it twists on and off. So like we plug it in. And so it's live. It, it's live. It says off but it has power. But here's the cool part. When you put it on. Let's put it on right We gotta put it on right. Give me a minute, it's gonna, it's gonna drop. See, that's why this is hers because I don't. Yeah, you hit there, it go. See, it makes a sound crazy. Look how, how I'm gonna get it off. You hear it makes a sound. <laughs> I think it's so cool that it makes that sound. It, it even does it when it locks. <laughs> it, it. And then whatever you put in it, it'll pressurize and, and so on. But this pot is cool. It saves a lot on dishes because we used to just wash and we used to just uh, cook in the big pot, like that big pot. And this saves us a lot on dishes. See, and she makes her own noise. And it's ready to go. So she's going to get in here and cook it.